So, welcome back everybody. Here we are starting out and doing some diagnosing on an Audi A4 that runs very rough. I've already started it and confirmed it barely, barely idles. <coughs> so, hood's open and like a lot of these cars, hood prop doesn't work. So, let's get right into it. Well, first thing I notice is the mismatched coils, which is never a good sign. But then, we see this, which looks like someone has done some kind of work on it. And it wasn't all the way seated. So now let's see if that's really all it takes. It looks like that was it. <clears throat> but it's still got a misfire. Hey everybody, welcome back again. I um, had an unusual one here. And again, like every every other time, something really interesting happens. I don't have the camera. So anyway, I'll explain it. So this car here comes in and I recorded earlier and when I pulled the engine cover off, we saw that the uh, the crankcase vent line was completely blown off. The car ran absolutely awful. So I put the line back on, turned the car off, started it, and it was running horrible. Misfire and solid on cylinders two and three. So I go out and I swap coils from two to one and three to four and come back start the car it still runs terrible misfires are counting up on the misfire counter and not showing any misfire faults they won't come up so i decided to clear the faults while the car is running and see if those faults would come back as misfires they didn't and now the car is running smooth I know everyone says clearing faults does not fix cars. And that's true. But sometimes, whenever you have a car that has been so far out of specs on what it's supposed to do, it will not come back in until you clear the faults. So this is one of those cases where the faults had to be cleared in order to fix the car I and mean, clearly you can see right now there are still lights blinking this is a park brake light and it needs the button for the park brake but right now what we have no codes present I and mean, we'll just back this up again check codes one more time no codes present no more misfires no more running terrible um, so this is uh, an ultra rare case of clearing codes kind of fixed the car well I mean technically speaking putting the crankcase vent line back on fixed the car but even after that it was still misfiring tremendously so anyway I, I just wanted to give a little bit of that story there and show that Sometimes you do have to clear faults in order to get the car to fix completely because it, once the parameters are so far out until you clear it and get it to reset itself, it's still going to run terrible. So um, after you do a repair to a car, save your faults, clear them and start over because if, if it's really running that poorly, it's going to need to have the faults cleared out in order to actually work right. Because once it gets so far out, it doesn't know that it's been fixed until you tell it it has. So that's that. And um, thanks you guys for watching. Um, hopefully I can have some more videos for you real soon that have some good information and not just goofing off in the shop. Anyway, Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and come back again. Thank you.